Okay, now this is evaluation for the subject property, 432 Kimmy's Lane. So uh, this sold, this is a sold, it was listed for 809, sold for 790, okay. Um, list price per square foot was 279, it sold for $272 a square foot. Our subject property is 2,700 square feet, this is 2,900. So it's a little bit bigger, but it has one less bedroom, same amount of baths. Now the other one, other thing is this has a three car garage, um, a detached, which adds about $30,000 value. So taking into consideration 790 sale price, we'd be at about 760 or so if you took into consideration the, um, the garage. Now let's take a look at the pictures. I'll walk you through. So same deal, vaulted ceilings, wood, wood clad windows. Here you can see the two car garage underneath the stone, just like the subject property, but the added detached garage that adds a little extra functionality, obviously desirability. Here's a view of it though, it looks a little limited. I haven't actually been to this property yet, um, but it uh, looks a little limited, not quite as many contrasting effects there with the finishes. Wood floors though, nice fireplace. Only thing about the kitchen that's different, we have granite countertops, but they have the stainless appliances. Same, nice lighting, uh, the green door, I don't know about that, the brass hardware, um, I would have updated that if this was my property. But pretty nice, nice big master it looks like. Uh, and here you have brass again, shower door, um, and then the plastic, I don't know if I'd go with the fiberglass plastic surround and then this, this funky ceramic, but it seems to work for them, but I'm just stating it's a little more desirable to have like travertine and then brushed nickel finish, uh, which is the way we finish things. Um, obviously the finish in here, again, tile instead of solid granite, which is how we finish things. But you know, a desirable, beautiful home. These sinks are, you know, top mount. We do under mount, which I imagine the our subject property has. If not, it will have. A little bit of landscaping it looks like. A hot tub out back and a nice deck. So there's one. You know, that, that brackets the higher end. Okay, it's 790,000 minus 30 for the um, garage. Now let's take a look at this one. This is a log home. So not really the same, but it brackets a valuation for us. Okay, just to kind of see what's selling in the area. Uh, lofted ceilings. This is smaller though, 2,400 square feet. Beautiful kitchen. Really cool, rustic finishes. Views of Quandry there, same as our subject property. Really nice finishes. This one, um, that rumble, tumble travertine, love that stuff. Beautiful shower, that's how we do ours, which is frameless. And then the sink here, little funky there, top mount, but no big deal. I think this one really shows a nice finish. But here again, single car garage. Okay, so that one sold for seven fifteen. Uh, it's a it's a bedroom short, or no, I'm sorry, it's the same bed and bath, but it's uh, square footage is about three hundred square feet smaller than our subject property. So that brackets that valuation there again, but it's a log home above seven hundred grand. Now here I've been on this property. I actually I walked this um, quite a while ago, but this sold in eleven. Uh, February 11th of 2013, uh, pretty comparable to our property, the subject property. It has a lot of the same, see you later, it has a lot of the same finishes. Christine pulled all these reports and I'm doing the video for you. Uh, Christine Pearson Appraisal Services. So you see the vaulted ceilings, you see the wood clad windows, the views. Uh, this is nice, simple finishes, but you know, nice. You know, solid granite countertops, looks like travertine. Um, looks like you know ceramic floor, nice big deck. I like the way they finish this off. Again, granite countertops. You know, a contrast color on one wall. We have usually three contrast colors in our houses. It's a little more appealing uh, between the bedrooms, the common areas, the kitchens, the bathrooms. Here again, you have ceramic, but you have a nice granite countertop. You don't have any hardware on the vanity, and you have real basic mirrors. Uh, the shower's nice though, it is framed. It's not frameless, but still nice. Uh, you have a little wallpaper on the walls here, a little funky for me, but apparently appealing for them. 
There again, the wind, you know, a couple of things here, kind of some cheaper um, stuff mixed in with some nice finishes. So that kind of brackets that value. This sold for 640, it was listed for 659. It was built in 2007 and it's uh, the square footage is 2924. So it's a little bit bigger and it has a two car garage. So this brackets a value of around 640, right? Uh, so let's go to the next one. So I'm really feeling comfortable at 649.9. We might do a quick sale price on this for 629.9, say, okay? Let's take a picture of this one. Uh, or take a look at this one. So this is Cameron Undefined. This is a lot like our finishes, but a single car garage. Uh, you have to walk up to the entrance up there in the deck, maybe, maybe not. A nice fireplace. It looks like it, it has a lot of positives. It is smaller in square footage, but has some vaulted ceilings, some contrasting colors. Uh, you have a little bit lesser of a finish here in the kitchen. You know, you have black appliances and, and tile counters instead of granite. Um, let's cruise right on through. There again, black fridge, a black sink on a, a tile countertop. Lacking the contrast colors. Nice shower, nice tub. Okay, there again, vaulted ceilings. Nice loft area. Not bad. I like the uh, use of slate here. Uh, top mount sinks, but no big deal. A nice tub. Looks like nice kids' rooms. A nice little uh, rec room there. Real nice deck, and then the same views, of course. So that bracket's a value is 625. Okay. Uh, this is a little bit smaller. It's 2,500 square feet. Um, it is a three bedroom, two bath with a one two car garage. So, uh, real comparable. Let's go to one more. So here we go. This one sold for it was listed at 609, sold for 590. Uh, it was sold in December of 2012, so going back a year. By the way, there's four actives, um, stretching up to about 850 thousand, and a short sale for 500 thousand. So the, in the short sale, by the way, we actually did the appraisal on it. Um, I walked and did the inspection on the property. Nothing compared to our subject property. Really, really lesser, you know, kind of lesser quality craftsmanship. The finishes were lacking. Uh, there were still outlets that weren't installed. There was uh, green carpet, stuff like that. And it was a, a kind of a kit home that had been added onto. But anyway, so let's take a look at this one. Um, you know, uh, this is a kind of a D-log home, it looks like. No, it's, a, it's a, like a Montana. Or something of that nature. So there's a log home, not not as comparable because it's a different style of building. Uh, there's the views of Quandary, nice hot tub, vaulted ceilings, uh, some nice framework here. But you got your ceramic, you have your white appliances, uh, so definitely lesser finishes, attracting kind of a lower end buyer in my mind. Um, and here, top mount sinks, you have your ceramic, 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 um, your framed door. Nice big kids room. This is probably a great little ski chalet, though. There's a moose. <laughs> nice deck, treks. Okay, so that'll give you an idea of what we have here. I'll be sending you uh, the properties as well, but this is just a walkthrough with me. Uh, Christine and I, of Christine Pearson Appraisal Services, walk through this and agree that, that we're going to list it for 649, the subject property 432 Kimmy's Lane. And we will have a quick sale price likely right around 629. I hope you've enjoyed our tour and we look forward to seeing you or speaking with you on the next one.